below. Hit, hit that share. Hit that subscribe. Hey, can you get Do it all, or we're gonna hit you. Lucille, Lucille times. she looks thirsty. So. Multiple times. Okay, so this is a video I've been looking forward to making for quite a while. It is um, almost the end of the year. It's December 28th at the time of filming. Everything that is going to come out that I planned on seeing, I've already saw at this point. Um, there are some movies that I didn't get to see that could have definitely altered my choices. But for whatever reason, time, money, it just didn't come to my town. I did not get to see these films, so I want to start the list off with movies I really wanted to see that were released this year, 2017, that I didn't have the chance to watch. So, the top of this list is Dunkirk, and it's by uh, Christopher Nolan, who is, you know, one of the masterminds of film right now uh, in this era of movies. Uh, I think anyone in the business would admit that Nolan is a very gifted and talented uh, cinematography expert and his uh, deliverance of uh, writing, directing, and producing, just anything he touches in movies is gold. <clears throat> My first Nolan encounter was uh, the early Christian Bale movie uh, years and years ago. This is prior to Hurricane Katrina, so this is like 2003-ish. He did a movie with, um, with, uh, with, uh, Christian Bale, and it was called, um, let's see what that was called. Okay, I'm back. Uh, Equilibrium. Very, very good, different movie. It was set in the near future in a society where all feelings were taken away. If you haven't seen that movie, you'll understand that Christian Bale and Nolan formed their friendship and allegiance to each other doing this because the performance Bale delivered under the, uh, under the, uh, you know, store. Nolan being in charge of that film. Very, very good movie. So, back to what I was saying. Dunkirk, I wanted to see it. Didn't get a chance to see it. Uh, I will probably catch it on cable this coming 2018. I see Showtime or HBO or one of the premium channels getting that movie around the spring. It's the kind of movie I like to watch with my dad. Another movie on the list that came out this year that I didn't get to see. Alien Covenant. I heard um, a majority of the reviews and the uh, reaction was uh, very negative. Uh, it wasn't scary enough. It doesn't pay homage enough to the old Aliens movies. I've heard people say it's not even as good as um, Prometheus, which I enjoyed Prometheus. I loved that it was an origin to the first Alien movie. Um, I still want to see Covenant. I didn't get a chance to watch it. Uh, even though it's been on home release, I did uh, peep it out during Black Friday sales. I saw it the cheapest was around eight dollars, and that was on DVD format. And I was like, eh, if it had been five, maybe. But I'll just wait for uh, for it to appear on a cable network. So moving down the list of movies that I didn't see this year that probably would have been different on my list had I seen it, The Big Sick. It's a, rom it's a romantic comedy. It stars uh, Dinesh from Silicon Valley, one of my favorite sitcoms. And I'll be doing a best television shows of 2017 video as well, separate from the video from the movie. So, The Big Sick is a comedy. It's, uh, it's about the cultural differences. Uh, it's loosely based on his true real life story about his marriage to his significant other who she is Caucasian and he is Indian. So I know that uh, there's a lot of highly toted uh, praise for this movie. It looks funny. Plus I love Dinesh, I love the actor. Uh, there's fairly decent um, uh, cast in that movie. Like I know Ray Romano's in it as a side cast. So 
It looks really good. Wanted to see the big stick. Plan on seeing it when one of the cable providers show it on my television package. Uh, the Shape of Water, which is a uh, movie by uh, Guillermo del Toro. A lot of people are saying it's a uh, origin story for Abe from Hellboy. It's Hellboy related. And then some people are saying it's standalone. I won't know until I watch it. I didn't get a chance to see it. It didn't come to my city. Um, so yeah, Shape of Water. And then number five, probably a lot of people will take a crap on this movie, but Dark Tower. Samantha and I wanted to see that movie. Uh, we didn't get it in our town. Plus Rotten Tomatoes like completely crapped all over it. it like critics and the public just destroyed this movie. So. We still wanted to see it because she's a huge Stephen King fan, and I just thought it looked cool. Ilda Ribas, Ilda Riba, however you say his name, as the gunslinger versus uh, McC McConaughey. And uh, I mean, it looked interesting on based on the trailer alone. So let's move on to what I did see. A starting.